everyone, how are we all doing today? Welcome to a very sunny day in Cumbria. And today I am down my local fields and I thought I'd give you an insight to the mini beasts that live in our hedgerows and verges. So I'm gonna set my camera up at a hedgerow and I'm going to see what little creatures we can find. I will say, a uh, bit of a disclaimer here, insects really aren't my forte. So I will be looking up some of these in my books when I get home. And uh, I'll try and put the names on screens if I can find them. If you do uh, notice any mistakes in the species that I put in here, please feel free to uh, just pop it in the comments and let me know, correct me. on a different day. It's much cooler today. Um, I've not had much chance to get out and play about at the moment due to work commitments and such so I thought I'd come and try again. And I thought while I'm down this time I'm going to actually show you what I'm using to actually film these macro shots. And you don't need to get a dedicated macro lens, don't get me wrong, a dedicated macro lens would really help in these situations. But actually you can get rid of some cut extension tubes so I'll just show you on my camera now. So as you can see, this is my camera. I'm using a Canon M50. And it's currently set up on a, a little snail here, just gently crawling across the log. Let's put all the bricks back on so we'll start tracking again. There we go, so it's currently following this snail across a leaf. And I'm using a 55 to 250 Canon lens. And you can see here that I've got these two additional parts to the lens. Now these are extension tubes and these are what allow me to bring the focus of the camera much closer to the end of the camera. So you see that the lens end is here and this tiny snail is actually on this leaf here. And extension tubes are just brilliant for this sort of thing. It's a very cheap and efficient way of actually uh, being able to film macro. One thing I will say about when filming macro, you're going to need plenty of light. So it always works best when you're outside or with an open hedgerow rather than actually in the hedge itself or in the woodland. If you're in the woodland, you'll probably have to take a small light to light things up. But once again, don't do anything that's going to disturb the wildlife too much. Pros and cons to filming macro hedgerows in this sort of weather. So when it's colder, there's a lot less about, but the stuff that is about stays a lot stiller for you. So it's much easier to actually film. 
And especially if you're doing video work, you have to actually get your camera set up, focused, and looking at the actual creature itself. And a lot of the times, if it's something like a fly or small insects, they can actually get away too quick before you actually get a chance to get your shot. Whereas when you start filming in warmer weather, the creatures actually have more energy and they're fast to get about, but there's also more of them here. So there's pros and cons to both types of equipment to film, but uh, the way I see it is, is get out as much and as often as you can and enjoy what you have in your local area. to be a fair bit of fog and moisture coming in now so I'm going to make my way home. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, I'll catch you next time. Ta-ra!